Okay. Boom. Yo, what's up, Half Moon? How's it going? Um, it's going all right. We took a break yesterday, right? Um, you know, it's weird. I, that was the first break I took like in a while. Like since the game jam, I've been streaming every single day. Like I don't think I ever stopped streaming. Uh, so yeah, feels it, it feels slightly strange. <laughs> feels like I've been gone forever, but it's literally only been a day. Um, okay. Let's see what I want to do today. I don't actually know what I'm going to do today. Um, there is one bug I need to fix. That's, uh, here, I'll show it off in just a second. But I do need to make sure it's not a... I'm actually not sure what the what the bug is. Broke my headset yesterday, and now I have really bad... Oh, damn. Yeah, I hate that feeling. Ah, okay, so it's from the falling animation. Wait, let me see. Yeah, it's from the wall slide to the fall. Um, but I want to see... Because it doesn't seem like it's an issue here. Like, it seems like I have, like, added coyote jump on the wall state. Um, and we're not removing it on the exit state. Um, specifically when we just fall down like that. Um, but we are removing it here, which is strange. If anything, it should happen here and not, uh, here. So I'll have to fix that. Yeah, let's write that down. Um, memory world structure goals here. Let's do this here. What's today's date? 512. I also have an old set, the <clears throat> old headset that I want to use for some reason as it started to mold. I hate my life. Oh, damn. Maybe you could wash it? I don't know. Coyote. Coyote. He jumps on um, slide to fall. Um, no coyote on slide to opposite. Input fall. The Friday stream is upon us, yes. Um yeah, I took a break yesterday. That was I think yesterday was the first break I've ever taken in a long time. Like in the past month. It it feels almost weird working on this game. Like I didn't I didn't even touch the game yesterday. I was working on um I thought of some other things I wanted to do. Um yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about that whole Twitch project. I don't know if you, you might have seen it on my Discord that I posted. Um, it would be cool if I could find someone to work on that project with. Um, I don't know how much, like, like, obviously, memory is, like, my top priority, but it would be cool to work on some other things, because, like, I don't know, it could, be, it could be boring working on the same thing over and over again. But about game dev, um, it's going really good. Uh, just some hot fixes for my game and found the broken bug in my game. The most broken bug in my game. Oh, nice. We take those.
Life can't always be, you know, dandy and sweet, but we get we get some of those wins, right? The cost of broken headphones, we get an updated game. Okay, so we fixed that bug. I'm, I'm trying to see. So yeah, uh, I had Hellraiser play my game, or I didn't have him play my game. He just he played it. Um, I can actually watch the video. Show you guys the video. Where did he put it? Oh, suggestions. Is my screen on night motors? Yes, it is. So yeah, he mentioned analog. there being some inconsistency with the uh, the analog, the the Joy-Con and the player input. So there's two things that he said. Um, that were issues with with the game. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know if this is an actual issue with the game or if it's an issue with like uh, different people's hardware. So like, uh, originally someone said that the input was like, like I always thought the analog stick was actually the most precise, not precise, but it's like it will grab your input. How do I put this? Um, okay, one analog sticks in general, I find they're 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 actually inconsistent with your input. Not inconsistent with your input, but they give you the most like varying results because like because it's hard to figure out what the threshold between an upright dash and a left right dash is. So like if you slightly if you're closer to you know x is equal to zero, you know what I mean. It's the same issue with the mouse. It's like you can't really figure out what the center of your Joy-Con is so like if this is your Joy-Con, it's not a nipple. Um, let's say this is our X. And we'll do I don't know blue for our Y. Can we find the? Come on, we're almost there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but okay, there we go. So like the thing is, if you do something, oh. Okay, so it's the same issue with the mouse. It's like if you were to point up here, if you were to do this, if this is, you know, we, we going into, uh, we're going into increments of 30, uh, sorry, uh, 45 degrees. So like, you know, we have, you know, this is our 45 degree angle. And this is an upright dash. So th this purple dash is closest to here, but the user might be intending to do an up dash, but they're doing an upright dash instead because they're way closer to, to this axis than they are to this one. Um, so like, you know, if they did something like this, then it would be fine. Right? Um, or yeah, yeah. If they did something like this, this would point closer to this one. So here, I'll just do, I don't know, like I'll, I'll make an arrow here. So this goes to this one, this one goes to this one. And if you were to do it exactly in between, I think it rounds, I'm not sure which one it rounds to, but it's so rare, like, ah. You would literally have to get, what, uh, what's 40, 45 divided by two? You would have to literally get exactly 22.5, which I don't think is even possible, like, there. And it's such a rare case that, like, I don't think you have to worry about it. Um, since decim like the analog stick goes into like the huge dust like it goes into like I don't know the millionths or something I think We can even check for that, but yeah, I think that's the issue at the moment. So that's why we added the uh We added the Joy-Con options specifically for that reason, like the uh, dead zones, and maybe dead, like, okay, I think I know what to do. Uh, what the issue is, is that people who are using um, D-pads tend to get inconsistent input uh, if they're dead zone or if, like, you know, their analog stick is resting at, like, you know, 0.6, because then there's always input. Uh, registered on the player usually like maybe if it's drifting downwards then you get you know if you're trying to dash you're always gonna dash downwards or if you try to dash upwards 
uh, it's going to cancel out. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll leave it like this. And I think what I'm going to do in the beginning of the game is check for input from the player or have them select which one they want. Like if they want to use the D-pad, uh, they have to just make sure that they increase their um, their dead zones. Um, or if they use if they do use uh, the analog stick, they need to make sure that they reduce the dead zones. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this problem is, so like it'd be nice f for people to I don't know, so, like self debug. I don't know. I don't know what to do there. Um, but yeah, this is an issue that I feel also exists um, in, Cele uh, in Celeste, or at least it was an issue for me. Um, so yeah. I think that's what we'll do. We'll have a uh, pre-game. Um, I don't even know what to call this. We'll say like preset analog, analog or D pad setup. Dinner. All right, sounds good, Octo. My hair looks pretty good today. My hair looks good every day. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, the party doesn't start till Octo gets here. True, true. Okay. Um. All right, let's fix this uh, issue with the uh, coyote time. Baby oil on the hair? Nope. I didn't do anything to my hair. I woke up like this. Actually. What's this? Invalid call no exist in function set cell texture on red cave. What the hell? Tile maps, invalid call, non existent function set cell texture. Interesting. Set cell. This is on Red Cave Decor. Red Cave Decor. Set cell texture. In our auto tile to... Auto tile to GD179. Auto tile to... Let me see here. Set cell texture, red map decor, what? Non-existent function set cell texture, red map, uh, red temple. Hmm. Red temple decor is a reference to red, oh. Red temple decor is equal to null, and then red temple decor is equal to red temple decor path dot instance. Hmm. Why is it saying? Honestly, I feel like this might be a like. It's displaying this, but I think it might be a bug here. Let's see. If I close it and then run it again. Let me see. World demo. No, we're getting it again. Hmm. Like, I don't think it's going to crash our game, but it's interesting that that's happening. Yeah. You see. Let me close it again. World demo. You know, you know what it might be, though? In one of our rooms, we might have one of these, uh, red, uh, we don't have an auto tile in it, maybe? Not sure. What the hell, man? No, it's running forever. Uh, 179. Let me see. On our auto tile, too. Okay. Damn, you take one a, a one day break and like everything is somehow broken. Let's see. I mean, okay, okay, okay. 179. 179. Red set cell texture. 
That's so weird that it's saying that, because... You know what I think it is? It's I think it's because we don't actually have a reference to this node just yet. Up until the ready function. Non-existent function uh, on base tom map. Wait. In base tom map, redcavedecor.gg. It actually should work. It, like, it, it is checking for it, so that's the weird part. Hmm. Invalid call. Here, let's look this up. We could also look at uh, Hellraiser's game if we choose to later on. Okay. Set cell. T oh, wait. No. Non existent function in base. Call deferred. Yeah, so this is what we're doing. We're preloading something and then we're calling a function on this preload. Maybe that's why. Um, let me see. You know, actually, yeah, we can try that. Call, uh, call deferred set cell texture. Uh, how do we do call deferred again? Gado call deferred. Like, I don't know how to include uh, multiple arguments on call deferred. Set deferred, call deferred. Call deferred, add child, do we, does it have to be an array or is it just, what about multiple, here let's just give this a shot, we'll try it out if it doesn't work, yeah we'll just try it like this. Call deferred set cell texture. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's an array or if. I feel like it has to be an array, right? We do this and then zero. Okay. Save, close. Also, seems like it's only posting it for 179. I wonder why it doesn't do it for anything else. Okay, close it, open it up again. Call, wait, no, what? Error calling deferred method, uh, method not found. Error calling deferred method. I wonder if it actually made our game bug out in any way. It doesn't seem... Actually, yeah, it, it, we must have... It isn't working, actually. Um, don't know why. Let's see, auto tile. Has it never... No, there's no way it never worked. It's We must have done something weird. Let's see, auto tile. Let me comment this out and see if anything happens again. Hmm. Maybe we must... No, no. Okay, yeah. We... I see it now. So it is there. It's just... Yeah, I don't get it. Um, because it's, it's not broken. It's like, it's literally doing the thing that I told it to do. Hmm. 
Add temple decor. On the ready function, add temple decor. Hmm. Maybe we'll just ignore it for now, because it... Yeah, it's... Let me see if it happens in chapter 2 as well. Chapter 2... Yeah, the same thing happens in chapter 2. And tile maps, auto tile, non-existent function, set cell texture in tile map... Non-existent function... It is so weird because it is, it's grabbing the correct... Uh, wait, let me see something. Invalid call. I think it has to do with it just not being an actual child of the game, of the, uh, like it doesn't exist just yet. It only, we only add it afterwards. So what we could do, I don't know. We could check if it's not equal to null, but I think I'm already doing that. Let's see. Uh, what is this, auto tile? Auto tile two. See you later, my fellow. Sounds good. Let me see. Add temple decor. Add temple decor. Here, I'll just do this. If let's see if this fixes it at all. Seems like it's still happening. I'm not gonna worry about it. Maybe <laughs> wait, let me let me do one more Google search, see what's happening. So the, yeah, this did not work, as mentioned here and here. Wait, let's see. Maybe we're calling set uh call deferred incorrectly. Emit signal, message received, message, pack scene dot instance. Hmm. Call deferred. Are you trying to overload? the built-in init function. I'm not using init, I don't think. No. We could do init though, maybe that's... Call deferred. Oh, maybe we're supposed to do this first. Call deferred. Add child. But this is not what they're suggesting to do. And at least I didn't see any suggestion. Let me see. Non-existent function. So maybe yeah, maybe running in it would be. Would be a better approach. Okay, let's let's test it out. Um, t -t 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 five minutes. Are you talking about the game jam? <laughs> you know, I still haven't played your game actually, but I'm thinking I, I can give you feedback afterwards because I, I didn't want to rush the jam either. But I'll still give you feedback.
I'll make sure to do that. It's a promise. Voting in soon. How's it going, Toasted? Alright, let's give this a shot. Um... Okay. This is in our auto auto tile. Yeah. So yeah, if we do call deferred and then add child. And then we include our red temple decor. Um, only thing is, this still might mess with us because we're still running this in the in here. But maybe we could run it in the ready function of the temple. We'll see. I don't think it's actually a good idea to do that. Let's see if this fixes anything. Chapter two. Let's clear this. Just vote everything five stars for me, and we are okay. Uh, the funny thing is, I usually vote give everyone a high vote, um, so you don't have to worry about that. You know what? I will. I'll. I'll, I'll do you that favor, actually, because I, I didn't vote on your game, actually. But I will. I'll give you a fair shot compared to everyone else that I did play. Um, psh, 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 where is it? Where? Where? Uh, two minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Submission Marathon Marathon Jam 3. What's your game again? This one. Hmm. I won't I won't show just in case. No, I'm kidding. I, I did do it. Okay. Um Yeah, I'll give everyone a fair shot. For the people I didn't play. Sons of Orion. I did play this game actually. Sons of Orion was bugged for me though. I wonder if they've fixed it since then. Um, it'd be nice to play that one. Cold hold. Jet run. Jet, jet, jet. All right. Some people are gonna be unlucky if we don't finish the voting session. Oh my god. Uh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Who else? Who else? Wait, what the hell? This is not even a game. Fuck it. What are those screenshots? Did I vote on everything? Misconduct? Oh, no! <laughs> no! I can't vote on it anymore. GG. Let's see. Let's see who won. I think we have to wait. What the hell? Where is the um should pop up by now? Hopefully I didn't screw something up. But I do remember this being an issue last time, like it, it just takes a while to load. Let's see if anyone's saying on Discord. Okay. 
Let me see. At a gym. Floating period ends. I did set it to ranked. It should show up. What would be the point of... Hmm. Alright, let's just give it some time. Don't know how fast their algorithm is. Yeah, I mean, there are only 20... I guess... Yeah, it should be faster than this. I remember... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe their ser servers are slow today or something. All right, we'll wait. <clears throat> Let's see. Did this did this fix? No, non-existent call, non-existent function set cell texture in base tile map. Red cave decor dutch. The the funny thing is that it is here and it is running. Like when you run this in the ready function, it does run. Um invalid call. Maybe oh, actually. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Auto tile, what was this? Two? What if we run call deferred on... On this? doesn't do anything for us like like I said it's not broken it's just it's giving us that error and I don't don't know why I wonder if I run it here does this no it doesn't do it here it, do, it only does it in like chapter like when we run when we open the chapter all right I'm gonna ignore it for now because it, it literally does it does work I don't know why it's giving us this error invalid call Maybe if we ran in it, but uh, I don't want to waste my time anymore. Okay. Preset, analog, or D-pad setup. This would be nice to do. Um, no coyotes on slide. Um, no coyote on slide. Okay. Yeah, let's look at that right now. Player 16. Also, I forgot to commit. Um, demo point two point. What is it? Point eight point two, I believe. It's the version. Okay. What the hell's going on? Oh, results. There we go. Out here alone, TBD, Yester Soul, Fishy Fist, Sons of Orion, Veggie Quest, A2C, Arcs, Memory. I'm surprised this one didn't get higher. Mulk Tribe, Just Drive, Multify. Last Mage, Once Upon a Slime, Blast Belt. Is that it? Oh, no, there's a second page. Jet Run, Night and Fame Demo, Beta Shooter, Bane, Circle with an S, Docile Cry, You're Fired. Damn, this gun got last place. Actually, I didn't play this one, so I don't know what it's about. Out here alone. Not surprised. 
I, di I didn't even play this game. I wonder... What is this? Oh, this looks pretty good, though. I have the same... <laughs> I have the same witch in my game. Um, here, wait. Let me... Congratulate. How do you spell congrats? <laughs> Coin congratulations. Should just be as dull as this. I think Titan's actually streaming right now. Let me see what he's up to. Some oh. I came here to find love, but so much for game dev today. Audio graphics, number two in innovation, number five in fun. That's out of how many were how many entries were there? There's only like 27 entries, it wasn't like uh currently streaming, just wanted to let you know. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, I totally forgot. I, I kind of remembered earlier it was gonna end and then I just completely forgot about it. It was a pretty small one, but it was like yeah, sorry man. O overall winner, or like, Rosemary's area? Well, it's, it's overall number one, and also, like, number one in progress polish audio graphics. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Oh, I, well, I kind of wasn't expecting it, because there were some, like, it was not many entries, but there were some really good entries. Like, yeah. Practicals game, you'd actually probably really like Practicals game. It's kind of like, um, do you know, like, Celeste? Oh yeah. Platformer. Yeah, it's kinda like that. It's like a really fucking fun like platformer game. Oh cool. Alright, I'm gonna close the stream now. Alright. Whew. Alright, let's figure out the uh the bug with the um slide state. I don't think it's a bug with the um With the spinning orb, I'm gonna give it a shot, but yeah, I think it's just in our slide states. Um, we'll even look at it right now. Uh, basically, our timer, Coyote timer. Let me see. I'm not even sure what this is called, but let's look at uh, on the exit state of. I don't know if it's on the entrance state of the fall state. It might be actually. Let me see. Enter state. On our fall. Um, if our previous state is a blind, if our previous state is climb. Um, are we starting? It doesn't seem like we're starting any timers actually. 
So must, oh, start jump window on our floor slide, our move. Oh, if our previous state is slide, start, start jump window. It's weird because it doesn't seem like it's happening on... Yeah, let, me, let me try to think about this. Start jump window. Let's... Yeah, let's print this out, actually. Starting jump window. Um, I'm also gonna print can jump. Is it can jump that we need? Yeah, okay. It can jump. Let me see what start jump window actually does. Start jump window. Um, checks what state we're in. If it's, if our previous state was the, I'm not actually sure what, what, what state it's matching. So let's just actually print this out as well. Print, uh, start jump window state. Let's print this out. Run it again. What the hell is all these all these print statements? Uh, timer went off and particle loop. Let's just turn all of that stuff off. Yo, what's up, Young Khan? New color? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I took. Uh, I'm sure you you know who um, Adam C. Eunice is. This is like his color palette that he posted on um, what's that website called? Um. The pixel art color palette website. Low spec? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that's what, what it currently is. It still needs some update, like my, my player still I still haven't updated my color uh for the player, but yeah, I'm really liking it. Um you probably already know I'm not much of an artist, but it's uh it's looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually looking for an artist now. I've been like uh, commissioning some stuff lately. Looks good to me. Glad you like it. Um, here, wait. Let's just finish with this. What was the What was the thing that kept spamming? Besides whatever the hell this is, um, particle loop. Programmer art gaming, yeah. Programmer art. I mean, I don't think my game really has any programmer art. Um, it's usually just you know, random stuff that I've added from like either commissions or like, uh, freaking like you know, open game art or um, H.io assets stuff like that. You know, like asset packs. Okay, so yeah, here's our bug. We have Coyote Jump on the exit of the fall state. Um, are we print? It doesn't seem. His own floor on enter fall. You know what's weird? Wait, what the hell? We're in the. F How the. We're in the climb state for some reason. Let me just make sure. Let me clear everything. I mean, we should be in the climb state once, actually, but not. Now let's try this again. Okay, yeah, we're never in the climb state. I'm gonna jump. Yeah, that's so weird. So we're going from the. Let me run the game on a slower time. And actually, we should have displayed what our state is. Yeah, I wonder if it's printing out. Maybe we're in the. Uh, Actually didn't check what state we were in. Um, signal locking camera. This is from the fall. Timer went off. Signal locking. Yeah, what the hell? Wait, we're not printing anything here. Oh, is on floor on enter. Wait, no. Uh, current frame. God damn it. Let me see. Enter state.
Okay, so if our previous state was the slide state, uh, starting jump window, and then we print can jump, uh, that should be true every time. Um, let's go into options and also just display debug and stats. All right, it didn't. I didn't see a slide, so we went from. But what the hell? I am seeing the climb. We shouldn't be going into the climb. Yeah, I'm just not going to press anything. So we go from the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Somehow we're entering the climb state from what seems... What the hell? How are we going into the climb state from the fall state? Let's look this up. State logic. So this is fall to slide, which is right, and then from slide to climb. Let's also make sure we're returning into that state. We're not like just checking. We could be still in the fall state logic, and then it's like, yeah, let's just look it up. Um, this is initially from the fall state. So in the if next to wall and can slide we enter the slide state so we are going into the slide state no matter what and there's nothing that actually forces us to go into the climb state here so now let's look at states uh, dot slide and in the slide state um, basically let's just make sure we're returning here quiet game dev thank you for the follow man If next to wall, if it, if our movement input is equal to our next to wall and auto climb is set to true, um, then we go into the climb state. I, that makes sense, but that would mean that we're either that our move input. I wonder what our move input is. Movement input. Something here is printing true. Um, and I assume it's probably this. Some of these statements are breaking my mind. Uh, I, I will say that this is a more uh, like this. This should this should change over time. This was like you know me building like you know originally this was supposed to be a two week game and I just kept building it, building on it, and building on it, and building on it. There is like a a more there's a cleaner way of writing this. The, the the logic for the most part is the same, but yeah, there's a clean cleaner way um, to do it. And I'm actually working. I actually have a tutorial on it um, that I've been working on. Um, I only have one episode, uh, but yeah. Okay. Um, so, what the hell is going on? state machines in a nutshell yeah it could even get more annoying than this and actually what i uh, right now we're having issues with our climb state originally what i started doing uh well in the new version of the player we're doing something where it's like uh the slide state and the climb state are both like it's both the same state um but what we could do is we create like sub states within the state um that's like the next thing that i'm probably gonna work on I'm still in my tutorial dev state, dev dev phase. Um, yeah, it's hard to get out of that. I mean, it's like I, I actually like like if you're constantly learning, I think that's a good thing because I feel like uh, like in my current state of things, it's like I, I wish I was watching more tutorials, but it, like most of the like okay, most YouTube videos for for the most part like don't really help me, um, but I wish they did. Uh, Cause yeah. Feel like you shouldn't stop learning and sometimes i get caught up in my old own head because i'm not looking at like you know other other approaches you know uh ba -ba -ba -ba. let's see slide dude why is this why are we not printing certain things 
Starting jump window. We are printing starting jump window. Also, what the hell is this timer went off? The GD, uh, GD Quest Disco has helped me a lot when I break stuff. Mm. I'm actually not a part of that one. Um, but I know the Godot Discord has been pretty good too. Also, like, just mini communities are really good too. Um, like, I've had a lot of help in Runjin's server. He, he does tutorials as well. He, he's a smaller YouTuber, but yeah. Uh, a lot of friendly people on that one too. Same with Chevy's. Same with, you know, Practical Development, that one's, like, probably one of the best discords for, 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 uh, Godot tutorials, you know? No, I'm kidding. It's actually probably the worst. Uh, but yeah. Um, Reddit is, Reddit is also really good. I've gotten some pretty good answers from there. There's just some, ge like, honestly, I'm actually, like, there are geniuses that use Godot sometimes. Like, you know, like, I, sometimes I wonder, like, what the hell are you doing just making games, you know? Uh, movement input. Are we getting any of this? Movement input. Oh, movement input is zero on the fall state. So this is not printing true, but somehow we're still going into the climb state. Um, and then... Or hold wall. Is hold wall being printed? Or is hold wall true? There's no way. <laughs> Let's try it out in one of these bigger rooms. Let's see. Fold. Yeah. What the hell? Um, movement input. Hold wall is false. Dude. And yet we're still going into the climb state. What's the state before that? Slide. thing is we're, we're, we're actually printing this out inside uh also another thing that's kind of confusing is that i'm printing out the change state after um here wait let me see slide states dot fall It's dot fall. Yeah, something is kind of broken here. Uh, if next to wall and can slide, we enter the slide state. There's nothing that would force us into the climb state. Slide. Then fall. And somehow climb again. Oh, you know what we could do is on the enter entrance of our climb state, we could check what our previous state was. Um, that won't solve the problem, but I'm trying. To... Let's see. Oh, wait. If not next to wall, we enter the fall state. Might want to draw a flowchart. Really like your art, by the way. Thank you again. I. <laughs> I can't take credit for the art because it's not my art, you know? Like, usually it's I, like, I put the art together, but I don't make the art, you know? So, yeah. I appreciate it, though. Art director bragging rights. Sure. We aren't returning anything. Maybe. 
sure that. This is why we need to update uh, our player class some more. One of these days. I honestly, the states, that's the only thing that we have to fix our state machine. Um, that's the only thing that like bothers me the most about the, the game at the moment. Mostly because like if I ever want to make updates to the game, like huge updates, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Climb. Alright, so we're going from the dash to the neutral. There we go. Okay, okay, this looks more... Fall. And then slide, and then... Climb! What the hell is going on? From the flight... F from the fall to the climb. Fall to climb. There's nothing that even lets us go into the climb. Let me see. Movement input is zero. <gasps> oh! You know what it is? Wait, and next to wall? I, I think I figured it out. Input controller, this is set to zero and next to wall. Next to wall is probably also set to zero and auto climb is set to true. That's what's going on here. Okay, I right, finally figured it out. Um, so next to wall, hmm. This is still in Godot 3, not sure. Uh, if you could port pro so you can it the the main issue for me at least is the uh tile maps um and there, there are like there are a bunch of things that are broken with porting to uh godot 4 uh but the main thing for me was the tile maps uh redesigning all the tile maps was gonna be just hell um so yeah we're sticking to the godot 3 and honestly yeah kind of like uh if i do tutorials or like new projects there there'll always be in four uh, but yeah, for my main project, I'm going to stick to three. I just built a tile map in four. Nice. Um, not not bad so far. Nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you know if you could, like, there's this thing that I'm trying to do in Godot 3, and I, I've had, like, I'm, I have to code it myself or use something like LDTK. Uh, so, oh. LDTK. So, like... Combining like like let's say like 16 by 16 tiles with 4 by 4 tiles seems to be like a huge issue um, Something like to create something as dynamic as this where like like I mean a typical auto tile will you know connect to uh, You know like a like a something like this is pretty easy But then making it dynamic as like let's say I erase the center of this to have one where it's like okay this is dynamically set up to like if there's two adjacent tiles it'll turn into this uh, if there's four adjacent tiles, it'll turn into this. If there are, you know, um, what is it, 16, 16 adjacent tiles, then it turns into this. Um, and, like, in Godot 3, there's no way to do this. I'm not sure. Like, someone mentioned that you could do it in Godot 4, but I also don't... I'm not sure if that's uh, that's possible, but I, I don't know too many people that have tried doing something like that. Uh, I've tried coding it, like, making a simple version of it, and we kind of got it to work. Uh, but it's still not perfect. Here, I can show you. Cave, the old cave tile map. I'm gonna, like, I do want to fix this up a bit. Um, currently I only have it working for the top tiles. Uh, and so here, this is what I do. Let's say we have, like, a 4x4 four four just turns into, I think, oh, it doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, we have something like this. I press that, and then it converts, like, you know, adds a bunch of 16 by 16 tiles to my 8 by 8 grid and like it checks for like certain edge cases where like corner pieces won't be converted um or they're not converted yet or if you have like an odd number of tiles um it's also decent um but yeah i'm trying to make it as like dynamic as possible um uh, but yeah if you put it on an odd tile or sorry if you put it technically on an even t yeah, it's, it seems like it's still broken actually let me see what the? Oh, I think negatives are gonna screw us up even more. So yeah, I've been ignoring this part because it's like, okay, it works like this. Wait, let me, let me try it again. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, there's just too many edge cases that I haven't thought of. Um, and I wish Godot 3 handled it. It's out of my depth, I see. Yeah, I was hoping maybe yeah, I mean, even if Godot 4 had this, I still wouldn't do it. It's 
It's too much to change now. We're too deep into this game. Okay, but we figured it out. Uh, we figured out our bug. It's also not too bad. Uh, I wanted to automate it. Another thing I could literally do is just, you know, we could just put in an, our 8x8 and then start drawing over it with our 16x16 16 16 tile. So, like, I could technically... Could technically do this if I really wanted to. Um, it would just be way more work. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, uh, a challenge for another day. We still have other issues in our game, like our figuring out what we should do here. Um, I guess what we could do is say if next to wall does not equal zero, that would be a quick solution. Um, Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Whoops. Not equal to zero and... Okay, so this would prevent us from going into the climb state, but the, uh, also, this still might not be the bug. Um, we'll find out relatively soon. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, now we don't go into the fall, into the climb state, which is good. Let's see. We fall. Yeah, no climb state. So, do we have the, the jumping bug now? We do not. That's good. Cool. So, we fixed it. Um, I'm, now I'm wondering if, if we want to add the jumping state uh, to... Basically, do we want to add coyote jumps to the fall state where the player, um, you know, basically moves to the left... Um, if they press, like, let's say that I'm pressing A right now, and then I'm, and then I press jump, should I, should I give the player the ability to do that? We do have a 0.1 second timer that locks the player onto this wall, um, if they decide to leave it, and I feel like that's enough time, 0.1 seconds. You have 100 milliseconds to decide if you want to jump or not. Um, if you're a little late to the party, if you're a little late to, you know, pressing the jump key, then I think that's on you. So, I think we'll keep it like that. Um, cool. Um, how long has it been? It's only been an hour, and we fixed one one bug. Okay. Preset analog and D-pad setup. Code Rad Games. Hey, man. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? I feel like it's been a minute since we last spoke. Give you a shout out. Yeah, what you been up to? I was actually watching, um, I was watching Hellraiser play your game. Looks like it's, uh, you know, it's been growing consistently or like getting, getting more and more polished. Yeah, Hellraiser is awesome. He he actually played my game too. It was so like it was so neat to like see him play. Uh, he gave some feedback and stuff, which was really nice. And the, we're actually trying to solve some bugs that he mentioned. Oh yo, how's it going, Maui? Welcome, welcome. He's one of the best test players. Yeah, he also did this other. I don't. He did this. Uh, what's it called? Split. Uh, something split. Time split. Like he was working on that like on stream, and I was like, oh wow, like. That's pretty cool. I, I haven't even considered like doing one of those things yet. Like the speedrunning software. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but... He usually starts streaming at my midnight. Yeah, I actually missed... I missed this stream too. I, I watched the bot of it. Oh, what the hell? If you minimize, does it pause? Does it pause the ad? There's no way, right? I must have paused it myself. We're running low on tea. Um, how's my game coming along? It's actually we're making a decent amount of progress. I can show you guys 
Here, I'll show you guys what I've what I've been up to. So yeah, we're solving some minor bugs that uh, Hellraiser mentioned. Uh, there's some issues with the analog. Well, okay, the thing it's it, I think it's a hardware issue uh, because you know this is a precision platformer. Um, you know, people people that people are gonna have one like there there, there are like five different issues that. Um, I think I have as the developer of this game. One being um, people have different, they're gonna use either a keyboard or they're gonna use a keyboard and mouse or they're gonna use a uh, controller. So like developing for all these different types of inputs have, it becomes kind of kind of annoying because you don't know what people are gonna use and you, you don't know like if their hardware is like broken or anything like that. Like one of the main issues that I think I'm uh, facing right now is that um, Analog sticks have different dead zones, so like, you know, pressing up for some people might be a little different than... Well, okay, it, th yeah, there's just too many things to ac uh, account for, but uh, one of them being that people have, yeah, different dead zones. Some people use a D-pad, and if you're using a D-pad with a low dead zone, then sometimes you're going to have input from the player or input from the analog stick. Um, that screws up with your d-pad input. So if there's d-pad input, I need to make sure that we disable the analog stick um, or just increase the dead zone um, to like something like this. And if people are using the analog stick, then we need to decrease the dead zone to like around here. Honestly, like it doesn't really, the dead zone doesn't matter nearly as much um, in the, uh, if you are using the analog stick because, um, because you're always inputting something. You're always either, you know, walking to the right or walking down or I'm not walking down, uh, walking to the right, walking left, or, you know, if you're doing a right up dash, it's going to detect the right up dash. The the, the problem with the, the dead zones though is like, when we, we kind of did something similar here, is that it's the same issue with the mouse where like, there's no way to like, like if you intended to do an upright dash, but you're, let's say you pointed your analog stick right here, this, uh, this, this one right here, this is going to round to the, this is more likely going to round to this section than to, to round to, um, the 45 degrees. Um, so yeah, that's the problem I'm currently facing. And like, it, the issue is that like some people might blame me for this issue. And I, I, I don't know how to solve this problem, uh, because well, one, everyone's hardware is different. And also everyone's finger like you know might drift in a different area so like I think people have to discover what uh, what their input needs to be um, this is why I recommend using either a d-pad like I prefer d-pad because it's just more it's more raw like you you know exactly what well, it's not more raw it's like you know exactly where you're going to press like if you're pressing upright you're gonna go upright whereas if you point point in the upright direction you might be tilting more to the to the Y axis, or you might be tilting more to the X axis. Use a joystick. Joy like I wish joystick like I think joysticks are good for like most games, like most platformer games, except for like I guess precision platformers, because like with precision platformers, you have to press the right button. Like you know, uh, I think it's fine in um. For the most part, I think it's fine for games like Hollow Knight or um, Ori in the Blind Forest because there's like combat involved and like getting to a specific area is not nearly as important. Like it is important, but it's not like it won't ruin your run if you 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 misplay for like a split second. So yeah. But the thing is, I think most people like playing with an with the with the joystick. Um, but yeah. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is at the beginning of the game, or like you know when you first start the game, um, we'll have like pre-built options where like um, if you are pressing the D-pad, um, or if you choose to use the D-pad, we will. Ju I'll just force the player to increase their dead zone, um, and we also need to do something with the mouse uh, because the mouse input. Uh, I think people. People assume that you have a full 360 degrees, but it's the same thing as the analog stick, where like, if you, you know, dash upwards, or like, here, wait, like this is an upwards dash still, but some people might assume that this is a upright dash, but then this is an upright dash, you know? It's closer to that 45 degree increment. Um, but yeah, so 
what is the solution? The solution is just check what our input is, and if it's a D-pad, we increase the dead zones. If it's an analog stick, we decrease the dead zones. I think that's the solution. Um, and here, I'll even try it out right now. Let's, uh, my controller's actually not plugged in at the moment. How does Celeste solve this issue? I don't think they do, to be honest. How am I handling mouse versus uh, gamepad? You mean like how do I check um, if the player is using a controller versus a mouse and keyboard? Like do you just set it? I, I have it uh, automatically check. Like if the player presses on... If the player starts using a, key, a controller, it just automatically sets to a controller. Um, you could technically, technically do both. Like. Yeah, actually, I've actually never done that. It's gonna mess with the UI though, for sure. Uh, Cause depending on, like I basically have like this uh, if using keyboard, if statement, or like input check. Blue, blue, uh, blue pin studio, thank you. So here, let me try this, yeah. Okay, so automatically, uh, if you're using a keyboard, it shows the uh, the arrow. Godot does what uni Unity don't. That's that's good. It sounds like the uh, the Linux. Linux does what Win doesn't. It's a good one. Um. Wait. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a really low sensitivity. This is not really low. This is literally like the default is 0.5. This is what like point point three point four. Let's see what happens there. Sega does what Nintendo Nintendo yeah. Honestly, this might be better. Like I said, I don't personally I don't like using the the joy, joystick cuz it, it's just inconsistent for me. Maybe I just don't have the correct motor skills. Yeah, like you know what would be nice is if I had like groove like I would use a, a um, an analog stick if there were like grooves on my Xbox controller. You know like the sim the ones that they have on the GameCube where it's like uh, the the stick is like inside an octagon. That I think that would be better because then you're you know you you kind of lock into a certain spot. I think that would be a lot better. Um, but since I don't have that, you know, we're we're kind of just in a full circle. Um, yeah. Also, you don't gain any additional control with the analog in your game. Yeah, yeah. There's no additional control. It's not like. Yeah, you're bound to eight directions. Um, and I think when when I use the mouse, well, well, when I show the gameplay in the mouse, it's a little deceiving, right? Because you see a full, oh shit, you see a full 360 degrees, but it's not actually 360. It just rounds the closest, right? Um, you know, honestly, I don't, I don't mind the uh, the. the analog stick at this low um, I'll have to keep playing it because I don't know if there's an inconsistent like right there uh, I meant to up dash but I I up right dashed uh, and that's the that's the inconsistency that I get from a like right there too oh my god but yeah we do have a really low dead zone at the moment let me let me try let me try a really high dead zone well not high but like 0.7 Is there no real difference in movement speed uh, when you? No, no, no. It's just raw input. The second I detect, that's the second you detect input from the analog stick, it it goes. Honestly, I kind of see that. There's another issue with this, and that's like now it's not sensitive sensitive enough. There's no winning here. If you're using a gamepad, how do you get in? Uh, how do you get it so your mouse doesn't override when you go back into control? So the, technically, you could. Uh, I, I did it in a cheap way right now. Technically, here wait. It's gonna be hard to actually show this because you could technically 
yeah, you can see I'm right now I'm using my analog stick and I'm controlling with and I'm pressing uh, input from my controller. Um, so technically it'll bug out. See, like you see the mouse and then I press input from my controller and it bugs out again. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure most people won't do this. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to like keep switching between uh, controller and mouse and keyboard. Um, you're usually going to stick to one. I could even make I could make some settings that lock the player into one type of input. I just thought, oh, you know, maybe I don't have to. It's just an extra if statement on um, on input, and it's literally only I think it's here. Let's see. I think it's only I want to say. I think it's detecting input from the Xbox controller right now. See, you see the mouse is disappearing all the time. Usually it doesn't disappear. People will change inputs if you go to con or expo. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is it's not it's not game breaking if you switch inputs. It's just like it's just going to look it's just going to look a little weird. Yeah, I'm not sure if I, uh, am I answering your question? I'm trying to uh, trying to figure out. If you're using gamepad, how do you get it so that your mouse doesn't override? Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, let's try to get. I think what I'll do, I, I still don't know if this is the solution to the problem, but I, I've had two people mention this, and it's like, uh, one person mentioned that, like, it's too sensitive, and then one person mentioned that it's not sensitive enough. Um, so yeah, I think if you use a D-pad, we're going to increase the sensitiv sensitivity. If you're using an analog stick, I think we'll just keep it on default, uh, which is 0.5. My solution is kind of hack. Yeah, I think there 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 is only... A uh, hacked solution. Also, what the hell? I I clicked on Codrad's stream and it's still like. I guess because he's not streaming anymore, we have to go into the VOD itself. But yeah, if you guys are interested in Codrad's game, and I think most <laughs> I think most of you came from Codrad's stream, but here let's post. Let's post this up. What about a joystick? Like a, um, like an arcade joystick. A joystick would have the same problem. <laughs> After seeing Code Rats, we don't follow. No, don't do that. <laughs> you know, it's funny. The same thing happened to someone. Someone jokes around about that that kind of stuff too. Uh, Octo, he's always like, oh, yeah, oh, you, you rated Code, oh no, actually Code Red rated, I think Code Red rated me first, before I actually knew about him, um, but yeah, after I started rating, uh, Code Red, um, it's always been like, oh yeah, let me just hop on to the better stream, here, let me post the, uh, did I post, oh, I did already post it, but there it is again, yeah, it's a pretty good game, he's been working on it for a while. And he's like very consistent with like making updates. Most classic joysticks are closer to keyboard than analog sticks. Oh, oh, so it's like digital. If it's digital, then uh, yeah, there won't be any problems. Um, or I mean, the core problem might still, I still feel like the core problem is still the same, but if you have that feedback of like, you know, I'm, you know, when you've hit that X axis button, then I think it's fine. You know, again, it's just, 
it's rounding, you know? Like, if you're really close to that, that middle point, but you're just slightly to the left or slightly to the right, then it just messes up with the input. Or messes up with what you expect to be the, uh, the, the result. They have internal springboards that act like uh, keyboard keys. I see. So it, oh, so like it goes back to the to the center. I mean, don't analog sticks do the same thing? Technically, they do go back to the center, but it's like maybe just the springs aren't nearly as strong, or like the whatever mechanism puts it back to the center is not as strong. probably is a spring okay um so yeah we would have to do some inputs uh main menu settings with classic joysticks they don't have a dead zone actually because they are not analog only eight directions yeah um someone just needs to make a better control like uh, or just give the player the option to have like, uh, honestly, I think the, the best solution is just to have, um, the GameCube controller because you know, it has that octagon. So like, you know, precision is not a problem when you're forced to go into a certain direction. Um, but you still have the option of like the full 360, you know? I'm gonna do a quick play test. Let's see if we could find any bugs. Oh, I was gonna show you guys um, Hellraiser's playthrough. It'd be pretty fun. He like I think Hellraiser is just like usually really good at video games. Um, Like, I'm good at my own game, but it's literally because, you know, obviously I coded it, like, I know how it works. But, like, it's nice to see people who are brand new to the game and, like, don't really know what's going on, seeing them play and seeing how they figure things out. It's like, honestly, it's the best form of input. I like, I, I do appreciate when people give me feedback, but it's, uh, the best form of feedback, in my opinion, is just seeing people play. Um, see, so yeah, I can show you guys what that is. What's that? What's that? What? <laughs> what that's like. It's not that text is bad, it's that video feedback being too good, yeah. Exactly. Because you can analyze what, like, some people will say, hey, I don't like this, but you don't know why they don't like it. Um, but if you see what they're struggling with, it's... Or maybe not. they're not struggling with it. Maybe they think, you know, hey, maybe this is too easy. Hey, maybe... Um, like, one thing I noticed with Code Rad... I'm not Code Rad. Uh, sorry. Uh, Hellraiser. Um, with the second mechanic in the game, um, the spinning orb here. Honestly, let me just show that gameplay because it's, it's more interesting to watch someone who's new to the game um, play it. It's more, you know, it's realistic. Whereas... Oh, by the way... Uh, for those of you who participated in the jam, um, yeah, Black Void Media won the won the jam. Um, TBD, I don't even know who this is, but uh, their game looks good. Yester Soul, I ha I also haven't played this game. I have <laughs> I gave this guy uh, a full score. I didn't actually play this game either. Uh, looks interesting. Um, I'm surprised I got ninth. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say anything about that. But that's just the way the the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, okay, let me see. Not having enough ratings, uh, dragging our scores down. Let me see. So yeah, this is Hellraiser playing the game. What? I was 
Let's bring it back to... This is like his first playthrough. You can try like analyzing it, I guess. Yeah, let's go back to the beginning. I mean, the beginning part is pretty basic. I think everyone gets this part. Um, let's see. There's also like a huge difference between like people like Hellraiser who like, I, I'm I'm sure he's played a bunch of platformers in the past. So like something like this makes sense to him, um, where he's like, oh, you know, there's a spring right there, there's a wall right there. It's <laughs> it's clear that I have to like get across. Where like some people like will. I don't know, maybe they'll hit the spring um, and then they'll just get stuck. Or like for this one, like the same thing, people just get stuck sometimes. Um, and uh, I don't know, it's up to the, the developer either to like, either spoon feed how the mechanic works or, um, or kind of just forget about these types of players, like people who aren't used to platformers. I'm trying to be, you know, like all encompassing, um, but it's hard to, you know, like appease, you know, the new player and the hardcore player. I would, I would probably put Hellraiser on the, you know, towards the like hardcore player type of person. I would, yeah, I would say he's a hardcore player. Or uh, let's say experienced player. That's probably a better word for it. Um, here, let's skip through some of this. It does when it's on the... Yeah, th this, he mentioned having issues with the analog stick, which I understand. That's what we're trying to solve right now. Um, this one's pretty good here. So yeah, the only thing I saw him struggle with at this point, like after this point... Honestly, I don't think he really struggled with anything. Um, the eyeballs were difficult for him. Or, like, you know, he didn't get it, obviously, on the first try, but that's because it's literally a difficult mechanic. Like, it was supposed to be challenging. Uh, but he still did pretty well, considering. Hmm. I wonder if, like, at this point, I feel like it seemed like he was having issues with input. I don't know. He he didn't really say anything. I wish he, I wish he did. Uh, but I feel like maybe there's an issue with input. Took me 50 minutes to beat it. That's, I would say that's like a pretty, pretty like average time. Like that, that's, I think that's like a typical, like that's the expected time is what I meant to say. About 50 minutes. That's pretty good actually. And would you say you're like, what, what would you put yourself, would you classify yourself as like, you've played Celeste, okay. Yeah. If you've played Celeste... I mean, yeah, considering you haven't played the game before, like, if you're playing it your first time, obviously certain parts are going to be very difficult. Um, I, I'm sure if you played it again, you'd probably get it way shorter than 50 minutes. Probably around 20. You don't play these kind of games, but you've played Celeste? I think that's... I think Celeste is enough considering that this game was inspired by Celeste. Or like, you know, the main mechanics are inspired by Celeste, so.
And this is, I think, also the... This room and the one before were the hardest rooms in the game. Um, he struggled through it. Like, I, I don't want to say he struggled through it. It's I, like this is the, I think, the typical um, playthrough. Like, you're going you're gonna to lose a few times, um, but eventually you'll get it if you just keep repeating it. Um, but yeah, this is the part where, like, I... <laughs> He got used to it pretty quick. Yeah. All right. It's more different than it looks. Area one through. Uh, that's what people have been saying lately. I, I feel like that's a good sign. I would say. Uh, because yeah, <laughs> on the surface, that's my number one criticism that I get. Right, there we go. But yeah, the like the roundedness, like you get round. Uh, the dash gets rounded at the exact point right there um so i'm no I, i'm wondering if i should add like a better indicator of where the player is going to go maybe we can add like a tra trajectory to show um but he he does get used to it uh pretty pretty quickly Like we can probably compare this to the uh, his next playthrough, and he's probably much better. The spinning things are about having patience. Yeah. Originally, what I did was it actually like y you can see that your dash or like you know your exiting animation is in increments of eight. So like. You're only ever gonna go in, you know, upright or right or down right, down left, down stuff like that. Um, originally, it was any direction. Like the last direction that you were pointing at, that's the direction that you went. Um, but yeah, I like to keep the game, you know, consistent. There would be too like too much variation in the game. Um, otherwise. It's also fun watching like nope. how they like how they approach the room, right? Yeah, this is actually one. I used to dislike this uh, this mechanic, but I'm starting to. It's starting to grow on me, actually. Yes. Gotta run, GG's. All right, I'll see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. So yeah, this is the, I think he's going to find the bug uh, right now. This is the one that we just fixed. Um, yeah, it had to do with us. Yeah, we kept going into the climb state, and then because we went from the climb state, I don't know what, what, what the hell, like, there is another issue with, like, the climb state giving you an extra jump. Um, I'll have to see what actually is going on there. Um, it is a little weird. My game got first in the fun. Oh, that's that's good. Mm. I actually didn't see what what I placed in for everything. Interesting. So, if I get thrown, I have a leap, even when I land against the wall. Possibly a bug? Yeah, it's a bug. Um, I don't think it's from the leap. I think it was because we went from the climb state, from the slide state to the fall state. Uh, you know, the, the thing that we just fixed uh, just now. But yeah, a bug nonetheless. And there still might be actually a bug with this. Uh, 
I, I don't think I accounted for like every Probably single edge case. We can we can look at it next. We could utilize really in the current state of things, but what's the bug? Yeah, here you'll see it right now. He, I think he might do it. We already fixed this though. Uh, basically, you go from the uh, fall state. The second you fall, as you're falling, um, there's an if statement that's checking. We have this. I implemented uh, a new auto climb feature, so you don't actually have to press anything to climb anymore. But you can. Um, basically, if you are pressing left, you know, like left arrow key or left on the analog stick, you will automatically enter the climb state. Um, and what we do is, the, the way I checked for it earlier was I just checked if left input was equal to the wall that we're on. Um, oh, yo, how's it going, Hellraiser? We're actually, yeah, we're watching your gameplay right now. Um, but yeah, this bug uh, was, it, I, I have to check if it's still happening um, now, because here, we can actually try it out. But yeah, it's because the left input Okay, so left input is equal to our left wall. This is true when we enter the climb state, but the second you fall down, left input is still set to, uh, you know, left input is set to zero, or, you know, false, and the wall that we're on is set to zero. So we enter the climb state, and that gives us the extra jump. Um, that was the problem. Um, but yeah, I still need to check, because there might be actually something extra going on here. Uh, we could actually run it right now. Let's see. Also, let me give you a shout out, Hellraiser. Uh, I'm really enjoy. I really enjoyed uh, watching you watching you play. Okay, we switched. Wait, no, we didn't switch. Let's go to chapter three. And I'm also trying to figure out, uh, Hellraiser, I'm also trying to figure out the issue with, like, the, um, controller, like, the analog stick. Um. I think, I, I'm convinced it's an issue with dead zones. Like, everyone has, like, you know, everyone has different hardware. Like, the analog stick has, like, a different dead zone for every, like, every, everyone's, uh, controller is different. Um, and I think that's the issue. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll figure it out soon enough. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is, like, if you typically use, um, you know, a Joy-Con instead of a D-pad, I'm going to reduce the dead zone, and if you use a D-pad, if you, you typically use a D-pad, I'm going to increase the dead zone for the, uh, for the controller. So, like, on, on input, basically, or, like, maybe... Ideally, it would be on every input, but that might be too much. I think I'll just have some setting that checks, like, you know, at the beginning of the game, I'll ask the player, hey, do you use a D-pad or do you use a Joy-Con? If you use a Joy-Con, we reduce it. If you use a D-pad, we increase it. And hopefully that solves the problem. Um, who knows? Um, I, I for sure don't at the moment. All right, let's go into chapter three, and let me just make sure this bug doesn't exist anymore. Um, so we'll go into here. Played a bit uh, better today, but same problems. I think the issue only surfaces during quick changes. Um, I can use the joystick up until the eye. Then the rapid changes in direction don't register. I see. Okay. Um, I typically don't use an. Can, can if you do ever give uh, play it again, could you try just decreasing your um, your dead zone? There's a there's an option in the settings. So if you here, I'll show you in just a second. Where was it? where was the bug? Uh, here, here. Yo, how's it going, CS Lore? How's the how's the song coming along? 
Um, okay, so we jump into this wall here. And I fall. Yeah, we don't have the jump anymore. That's good. Whoops. Um, but we do... Actually, we do. <laughs> we still have the jump if I go from the climb state. Okay, we didn't solve everything. Um, so it works like this if you don't press anything or if you don't press the climb button. But if you if you actually climb downwards, if you do this, then you have that jump. And it seems like it's lasting for a really long time. Oh, it's last. It literally lasts probably forever. So we don't have the timer starting from the yeah yeah yeah. Um. Gurai, Gurai, thank you. I, let me know if I butchered your name. Thank you for the follow. Good. I mean, good is good is good. Um, here, let's fix this bug real quick. Um, so that's from the climb, and typically, uh, like, you know what's weird? Uh, we might actually want to have this coyote time on the slide state when exiting the slide state, but not the climb state. We'll have to figure out like all the edge cases, but yeah, if we go into enter state, um, from the fall state right here, if our previous state is equal to the slide, we say can jump or start a jump window on the slide. We're going to say previous state is equal to slide end, um, or sorry, or previous state is equal to states dot uh, climb. And that should fix the bug. Just uploaded a video, so that's fun. Um, that's after downloading it uh, for three minutes. Um, send the link. Let me give it a listen. Okay, so if you press down, there we go. Um, we still might want to have some sort of coyote jump, though. Um, I'm actually surprised... Wait, let me see. Yo, how's it going, Titan? Congratulations, man. Um, Titan, by the way, um, if you want to... If you have, uh, you might already have a trailer, uh, but if you have a trailer, um, send it to me and we'll pin it on the, um, we could pin it on the Discord, but we could also pin it on the subreddit. Yeah, it actually doesn't seem like the start, that, that timer works. Let me see. Start jump timer or uh, jump window on our... Let me see. On our state stop slide. Yeah, I'll send it. All right, sounds good. Uh, start jump window. On our slide state. Oh, it's point. Who the hell is gonna? Point one sec. Point oh one seconds. Ten milliseconds. You have a ten millisecond. Uh. Window of opportunity. It's probably a little too much. Or, sorry, not enough. Let's see if this is better. <laughs> 10 milliseconds is plenty for speedrunners. It, wait, it doesn't seem like it's working still. Let me see. Or maybe I'm just too slow. Um, actually, wait. Start jump window. Um, I don't know if we set can jump is equal to true at this point. Let me see. Send you on Discord. All right, sounds good. I'll post it after this uh, after this stream. Or maybe what's the like? Not that it's a big deal, but like sometimes you know posting on Mondays are like better for people. You know more attraction. I mean, or, or like higher. Actually, I, I don't know at this point. Like so many people look into these statistics, and then like if everyone's doing it, then what's the point? Um, every level has a timer that restarts a uh, second shorter than last. Oh my god. If that was a... Dude, we wouldn't troll people so hard. 
Yeah, I, I wonder what I did here. Why did I put point? Oh, oh, actually, don't we don't use floor slide anymore? But I'm wondering why I put point oh one or like maybe I just wanted to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it's working. Let me let me try point five. Let's see if this this works. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, so it does work. Um, let me just make sure it works both in the climb state and the fall state. So this is the fall state. Okay, yeah. Point 0.1 seconds is probably good enough. Um, and, you know, actually, wait, let me just see this one more time. Um, okay. There's one... I do need to make sure that there's no inconsistency here. So let's go back into level manager. And then after this, we'll go back into watching um, Hellraiser's playthrough. Feel like burnt toast. So we made it, what, point, point 0.1 seconds? Okay, 100 milliseconds. The the thing is, our lock wall is also, I believe, let me see. Okay, so we don't really want this to happen. Uh, the player gets coyote jump, they're basically leaving the wall, and then we are kind of... I don't want to promote this kind of gameplay where you're pressing the jump button way too late. So I think, honestly, I think I might just remove coyote jumps from from like wall, like wall coyote jumps. Cause then you don't get that full, that full jump like this. You get this, this weak one. Right. Unless we increased the, uh, if our pre like we what we could do is check what the previous state of the player was if it was a wall state like if it was a climb state or something, um, then we would give them that full jump. But I don't know. People might figure this out, and obviously, people are watching my stream. They know I'm doing this, or if they look at the source code or something, um, they would know that like. I mean, it, is it a, is it an exploit or is it a uh, speed running strategy? Um, what's the difference? Okay. I think I might just remove this from the from the slide state. From the slide and climb state. There might not be a point. Need for speed is real. Sintel song? Alright. Speedrunners will come with good games. They will not come with games designed for speedrunners. Should be fine to listen on stream. It seems uh, to still run under NCS stuff. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we'll play it in just a second. Let me, let me just see what it's like to remove the uh, coyote jump. Imagine making a game specifically for speedrunners where you, like, intentionally added exploits. I wonder if that's a thing. Yeah, how's it going, Juho? I mean, um, I think in Celeste, actually, the, you know, the dash jump that you could do, this one. I think someone figured this out, but they, obviously, they, like, a lot of the time, if they do, if speedrunners do find something in the game, sometimes, uh, you know, the developer will just keep it because it's, like... You know, it, it would suck, you know, as a as a speedrunner, you find something that you really like that's, like, challenging, and then the developer just removes it. Um, but yeah, like, Celeste's dump, uh, jump dash, I think, was technically a bug. I'm not actually sure, but yeah, they decided to keep it. 
Games for speedrunners exist. Usually they're racing games, though. I see. Yeah. Uh, what's that game called? There's um, Speed. Something Speed, I believe. I think I have it on Steam as well. Track Minias. Speed. Speedrunners. <laughs> what a name. Literally, literally, the game is called Speedrunners. This game was pretty fun. Didn't play much of it though. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's try this out. Let's remove the coyote jump. Uh. This was on enter state or fall state. Two. Else kin jump is equal to false? Where do we set kin jump? Interesting. Let's just comment this out and say kin jump is equal to false. Kin. R. Venson, thank you. Thank you for the follow. This was not to brought to you by ChatGPT. What was not brought to me? Um, there are a few near pixel perfect skips in your demo. Very hard to implement, but satisfying when you get it get it to work. Hmm. Um. Also, there are technique to jump higher and further, and also in general, uh, in the level design. Yeah, that's the thing with like coyote jumps is like coyote jumps is satisfying or like it's meant to account for user error but people could also use it for um um for speed running usually it doesn't really make a difference but it can um and it definitely does in certain types of games like i think coyote jumps is actually a thing that's implemented into like it's it's accounted for in the level design of um saltoon's game Uh, but yeah, I think that's my main. I actually wanted to bring this up, like, uh, to Saltoons because he's he's working on a level design type of game too, like a plat, like a you know precision platformer type of game. Um, and it's that like, there's so like there's just so many varying inputs that people can press that like you can't account for all of it. There's a bug combo that has gotten uh, me a few times. The spikes getting uh, getting you on climb progress point not saved, uh, not registering. Here, let me uh, let me finish watching your your playthrough. Actually, well, I, I watched it yesterday, but I want to watch more of it. Um, let me see. But I don't remember if it's can jump. If I use can jump is equal to true, or do I use jumps left? Because we do see jumps left here. Let me see. From the fall state, let's see.
If start jump, oh, okay, yeah, we use jumps left, okay. So, in enter state, fall. It's equal to zero. Would you be interested in finding new tunes? What's wrong with these tunes? Alright, we're gonna keep it like this. Um, you could still do wall jumps, and you the thing is, it's not coyote jump, but there is a 0.1 second timer. There is a 100 millisecond timer of just uh, being locked to the wall. It's not noticeable, but yeah. You, wait, what the hell was that? Um, another, I mean, if you're gonna spam, like, if you're gonna do this, then um, that's another issue, but I don't expect it from most players. Why not insane in the rains work? That's not similar at all. All right. Let's leave it like that. Let's go back to this video. No. Nope. This part needs to be updated as well. Uh, specifically, this jump I think is too tight. Why is the Y button there when the? Oh yeah, the Y button is also there. Originally, we could switch directions, but I've removed that feature. Super good. Soul Bros. Soul Bros. Spinny dial in the middle. Do you guys actually want a uh, a different playlist? <laughs> it's like the here. Let's see this slash poll. Hmm. Just something new. I mean, I'm cool with playing something different. I'm, I think I'm just so used to listening to Undertale at this point, and like whatever song plays afterwards. Dota 2 soundtrack and copyright free. This part is pretty... I would say this part is pretty easy. Add to now. Yeah. You know what's funny? Everyone who play Tusk by Game, all, like, they always like check for these secret areas that don't exist. Classic Doom soundtrack. The thing I do like about Undertale, though, is it, 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 it like it matches the vibe perfectly of my game. It seems. So I think that's why I like it. Um, like when I was working on a synthwave type of game, I loved listening to synthwave. You know, like when I mean when I was working on a futuristic game, I loved uh, synthwave. Um, and now that I'm working on a you know. I don't know what, what type of, like, genre this is. I guess, like, fantasy-ish? Um, I like Undertale.
But yeah, this section here needs some upgrades too. Um, this used to be a decent mechanic in my opinion, and now I, I, I've kind of gotten um, bored of it, just because I think it's just not fast enough. There's too much, too much waiting around. You know, W keying it, um, it's not fun at all. But we'll fix that soon enough. I think da like uh, someone mentioned dashing in this mechanic. I think that would be pretty good. At least switch it up. Delta rune. Same style, but not the same notes. This green area, I find the colors a bit ugly. It reminds me of the Christmas sweater. Yeah, I agree, actually. Um, but more important, um, at least on my 27-inch monitor, the area becomes very jarring. Like, I can become quickly visually confused. It was a weird experience. Okay, that's good, good to know. Um, yeah, I definitely am planning on switching this area up. Glad you're chasing the fun. So I need two more chapters after this. I need two new two new mechanics. I'm not sure what they're gonna be. I think it's disgusting that you're working at this time on a Sunday. Have you got nothing better to do? I think that's my favorite one. Who you got nothing better to do? Here, let's... I'll play your song, CSLR. Did you post it somewhere? Oh, it's in DMs. Okay. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pause the Undertale music for now. Unfortunately, triple A's. The thing is, yeah, triple A's just have so much money they can do whatever the hell they want. Is this muted? Oh. So yeah, either I want to make this game this this section more challenging, or like just make it faster. Um. Or, uh, like, someone suggested maybe making an area, like, if you're good at the mechanic, you could just skip this entire area. <clears throat> I've heard so much more than Undertale, I think. It's NCS music. It might be, is it, is it blasting? I just forgot that it might be too loud. I think that's a that's a trap. I think you think you can do it. Oh, he's trying to I like the idea of this area, but if you look at it, it could be more. Here. Yeah, I agree. Wait, I also want to hear what he's saying. Let me see that again. Oh wait, you skipped. <clears throat> Media thought was I was playing it uh, the first time. How does it troll you? 
Also, what I don't like about these, uh, I think I need to update how these areas are done. Because uh, it, yeah, it, I don't think that's possible. I think that's a, that's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Make you think you can do it. It used to, it used to allow you to do it. But you can't. I see. It's a red herring. You know, I don't. Same here. But I'm gonna give it a try. Hmm. So there actually is a speedrunning strategy for this spot, but this yeah, way is not the can't way. Quite reach it. So if you were to dash, you can actually uh, dash as you're about to hit this uh, this green thing. You get the hitbox, and you can dash to the left. So there is a pixel perfect. Uh, it's not pixel perfect, but yeah, you can actually you can do it. But this is your first playthrough, so maybe I, I don't know if you maybe found it later. I think any kind of trolling, um, I I think trolling is fine as long as it's not unfair. I think it's fine. Like, I don't want to punish the player. Like, if they don't know how a certain area works at the first time around, uh... What am I trying to say? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to... I don't want it to be unfair. Also, here's another strat where you could, like, skip through this area. You could technically bounce off this portal. Another trap. It's not a trap. <laughs> <laughs> It might be a, a trap on the surface, though. I, I think maybe I do need to fix this room a bit, though. We updated the hitboxes, and I don't think I have... I've, like... I don't think I've updated... Yeah, like you could see, like this is clipping through, right? It, it does work, but um, they shouldn't be clipping through each other like that. Yeah, I don't think it's a possible. I, you didn't hear me say this earlier, but I was going to say, uh, Hellraiser, you're probably one of the better players. Speedrun strat through there. It's a teaser for speedrunners. Like, on your second or third playthrough, you already got to, like... A sub sub 15 which is pretty good i mean like the levels are always going to change but for what it is right now sub 15 is pretty good you really have to be trigger proof to play the game what do you mean Trigger proof? Is that a thing? Tr trigger. Opposite of trigger happy? What? Oh, uh. I feel like this game is becoming a little too similar to Celeste. Hmm. I am trying my best to implement unique mechanics. I mean, I guess this does. It does look similar to Celeste, though. So, oh, is that a bug? Were you pressing restart there, or you just died? Okay, I think you. Yeah, you probably just died. No, it's a bug. Okay. Hmm. Let me let me see what that is. 
All right. Uh, can I see what the poll was? The day the the poll just disappeared. It seemed like only one person voted, but whatever. Let's see. You want Lo-Fi Undertale and Delta Rune? You want uh, we want Zelda and Chill. I think we can play. We could play Chain ga uh, Game Chops, right? We've come to that conclusion. Also, I apologize if I missed anyone's message. Copied from Celeste, uh, or something except for spikes, and those are most in games. I can't. It's I, like I don't know, cause like I try my best not to copy. Like I know on the surface it looks like Celeste, so like I'm I'm not going to deny that. Um, I do try to make it different. Um, and like m my own like self criticism, like when people say, "Oh, it's nothing like Celeste," I feel like you guys might be a little biased because it definitely is like Celeste. Uh, it's just if you like further inspect the 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 mechanics, then it like strays a strays away. But yeah, there's no pure one hundred percent originality. Large amounts of game design are iterative. Yeah, so I mean. Uh, Saltine said something similar, where it's like, yeah, one no game is uh, is unique, but one thing that I would like to do is like allow the game to, like, create its own identity. Um, so like, uh, like you know, when I first started making this game, I was like, oh, let me see how Celeste did it, and then I copied Celeste. Or like, you know, I made the jumping mechanics very similar. Jumping and dashing are similar to Celeste, but it, like at this point, it's, I would say it's all it's pretty different from Celeste. Um, but if you've never played platformers before or anything like that, you're going to be like, oh, that's the same thing. If you don't pass a per uh, certain point on the floor there, uh, there is, there it, it doesn't save uh, your progress and you go back to the beginning. I see. Um, so, yeah, I can actually show you guys. Um, there there have been issues with the, uh, the hitboxes. Um, we, we can look at that right now. I thought I, I thought I solved that issue, but maybe not. Maybe not. Um, maybe the raycast is too too small. Here, we'll play this for now. In the meantime, hopefully we don't get any uh, any copyright strikes. I don't think we will. Hopefully. Like Dark Souls, for example. Normies will hate. Yeah, I mean, again, like, <laughs> I don't know. I like to be, I try to be objective about my game, you know? Like, I know it's very similar to Celeste, but I'm trying to... To stray from, uh, you know, get away from that. Um, I mean, what, what chapter was that? That was chapter two. It's it's chapter three, but you know the file name is chapter two. Okay, um, let's go into chapter two. Um, that was this one. Okay, and I'll show you the speedrunning strat too. Um, honestly, I think this room is subject to change, but yeah, there is a speedrunning strat at the moment. My first in Apparently you can't say kissing your ass. Dude, you know, uh it's weird. Like I can't I need to figure out what's a better way to um auto mod. Not the original song, uh so you won't get striked and also you can't copyright you can't copyright strike a claim any uh, anything because it's not the original work; it's a remix. I see. But I mean, like the thing is, you can't use. I feel like you can't use a remix on, like, for example, a game. You know, just because. Oh shit! What the hell? Did we do something to our game? Why did we just? This usually. Usually doesn't happen. Let me see. Maybe we didn't collide with the. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's because we were in between two hit boxes. Okay. Um. See, so yeah, that bug was right here. Also, let me show you collision. Visible collision shapes. Uh. 
Um, let's run it. It's very similar to Celeste, but like I said, when I played it, I was surprised by how different it was. Not kissing your ass. I appreciate it, thankfully. That means a lot, too. Okay, it's gonna be super, it's kinda laggy uh, because I'm showing collision shapes, but I just wanna see what's going on with the uh, the checkpoint there. Because most of the time it should work. So but yeah, here's the strat. You you just dash out and let, let yourself bounce off of it. Um, what the hell, why is my, my, uh, my clicks are so delayed because it's like, it's super laggy. Um, mm -mm. God damn it. Come on. Work for me. Oh my god. Alright, one more time, um, and then we'll just go backwards. I just need to see what the hitbox looks like. Oh, another thing uh, someone suggested was adding a... Here, fuck it. We're just gonna go up. Can we see it from this side? Here, what we'll do is... We'll put a temporary gap right here so we can see what it what it looks like. Godot 4? No, this is Godot 3. 3.x. Um, maybe you should use just TP to the area. <laughs> maybe. It's just so laggy. Like, there, I didn't want to waste time. Uh, because we're using visible collision shapes. Um, th there is a better way to actually make collision shapes. And I might explore that. Uh, here. Oh my god, that gap is not enough. Yeah, so our hitbox here. Our raycast is too small. So yeah, you're right, uh, Hellraiser. We could have we could have literally just inspected this and noticed that it's not touching. So if I did this, now it should work. This is my my hacky way of adding like, you know, honestly, checkboxes should never even be this large. Uh, but the way my game is designed, it's never been an issue. We could also do it so that if if the area doesn't hit anything, we just make it that minimum size of the raycast. But there we go. Um, also, the other issue is that somehow Hellraiser is dying when he like is it? Are you climbing up? Let me see. Looking at your editor, I noticed uh, the tags and some of them said, yeah, we do, like, I'll use Godot 4 for, like, game gems and stuff. Um, I've explored making this game in Godot uh, in 4.x, but it's just been, it was hell. It was hell. Maybe I should fix that, actually. Okay, let me see what's going on here. He's just dying? What the hell? To the Steam demo? No. It's usually on itch. Um, I, w I should I should update it on Steam more often, but I do not. Um, I will be upda updating the Steam version. Uh, definitely, I should do it by the end of the month because the Steam Next Fest is on the 19th. Glad that one is fixed. Yeah, hug the the wall. Jump, grab the wall. Dead. You okay? Let me see. So I've made a few um, updates to how like hitboxes of our spikes are handled. Um, we'll have to yeah, we'll run it again. And see what happens. Um, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to update how the spikes are drawn in the game. 
Uh, I thought of a genius, genius idea. So, okay, this is one issue that shouldn't happen. Um, but you jump. You said hug the wall, jump, grab. Oh, jump, grab. What? Is there's no? I didn't fix anything though. There's no way. It might be it might be a bug that's just inconsistent. Oh, there's no de there's no demo command actually. It's just, it's itch. If you do uh, exclamation itch, that's the demo. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Sorry, I missed your message. Yeah. Um yeah, I don't know actually. What could be the bug? Better question, does demo mean demolition or demo game? It means uh Sure, demolition. Demonstration. Oh. Actually, that Makes sense. So yeah, we did fix an issue with hitboxes when going when uh when we do coyote jumps. I'm sorry, not coyote. Ch fudging the player, we've accounted for spikes in fudging the player. You see, the player doesn't actually die like this. Oh, actually, wait. <laughs> Let me try that again. Seems like you actually do die like this. Um, but oh wait, but this is on a vertical. Uh, here, let's try that again. You shouldn't die like this. Um, we might be, we might want to reduce the size of our spikes though. That's an easy solution. Um, only issue is that I don't want the player to, um, like let's say the player lands on this like little corner right there. I don't want them to touch that corner. Well, I think what we're going to have to do is check if the player is on the idle state and check if a ray cast is hitting anything. And if that's the case, then we'll kill the player. Um, otherwise if they just collide with the, you know, on this side of the wall, uh, then they shouldn't die. Um, here, let me see what it looks like if we just go into our spikes. Spike tile map. Uh, it's satisfying for coming up with rules for killing us, yeah. It's like, you can only die in this specific way. After your next itch update, I'll run the demo again and see if uh, I repeatedly die there. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you again, Hellraiser. Let me give you another shout out. Uh, I think I'll still look at more gameplay, but... I'll, I'm also going to add you to the... Uh, to the credits. It's only way to Nirvana. True. Oh... I like that actually. It's is it isn't it after a hundred deaths, right? Or is that in Hinduism? Wait, is it the same in in Buddhism? I know. I feel like in Hinduism, after a hundred deaths of like being good, you you reach like some sort of enlightened state. But that would be a cool. Uh, what's it called? A cool um, steam steam achievement, like after dying a hundred times. I gave you some biddies, remember? I get I get them in the creds for sub ten. All right, sounds good. Yeah, after okay, after sub ten, I'll get you. I'll get, I'll put you in the credits for speedrunners. I mean, but the thing is, it's always going to change. So. I'll, I'll put you in right now. I need more people in that in that speedrunning category anyway. Right now it's it's literally only unless you find it disrespectful cuz <laughs> maybe you think that's not not low enough. If you think it's not low enough then I then I won't put you in. 
I'm in the credits already though. So is Mr. Glick, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's not. But like there's there's multiple sections. Is Buddhism a reincarnation religion? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, oh, Buddhism? Yes, definitely is. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is. As something else, yeah. Buddhism is directly descended from, yeah, from Hinduism. Um, what was I gonna... But yeah, I was thinking of adding an, ach an achievement. Like Nirvana or something after 100. Uh, 100 is, is pretty low though. I think 1,000. 1,000 is probably a better value. Was at 11.38 today? Alright, sounds good. Uh, again, I apologize if I miss anyone's messages. You know, it's just... I'm a slow reader and then sometimes they just disappear by the time I get to it. Samsara and is an ongoing cycle of life. Uh, make a series of empty lines and put all the speedrunners after that. There's there's a speedrunner hall of fame right here. If that's what you mean. Please believes. How can you get into the Hall of Fame of Speedrunners? Sub... I'd say let's do... Sub 13. Sub 13 is the speedrunner. Pay money? No. <laughs> Specifically for, for the speedrunner Hall of Fame, I'd say let's say sub 13. It's always going to change, but at the moment it's sub 13. Honestly, we could do a play tester. If you, if you've, I keep adding more to the, I keep, uh, like removing the criteria. Like I don't actually, honestly, I don't even know what the, um, the criteria is for getting onto the credits. It's kind of like, Hey, if you ask me and I know you, I'll probably add you. Um, as long as you've been on the stream a decent amount. Um, but there is like, the thing is at this point, just to be fair to the people who have paid, like that was the original thing, um, but yeah, it's kind of, um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, because I have a reward for it, I don't want to just add anyone now. Basically, either you spend the rewards, like, you know, the 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 fake internet point award, reward, or you are a speedrunner, or you donate to the, to the game, or like you donate to my stream, basically, or, you know, uh, subscribe to the stream stream um but i don't like asking for money and i don't like if literally you're only like if i had a choice i'd rather you spend the uh the channel points than to spend money rip your character out of your game and create an easter egg of memory inside can i get permission to take your game rip your character out of your game and create an easter egg of memory inside of my game no Oh, I think I got it. I think I... Dude, I think I saw the bug. For like a split second, I think it happened. Maybe I'll go back into the VOD and see.
Okay. Um, let me see these uh, these spikes real quick. We could reduce the size here. Maybe. Let me see. Our steps are one right now, or they're two. Is it pronounced mem memory or memory? Uh, I was leg lis uh, legit pronouncing it with the ori. <clears throat> I say I say both. Um, personally, technically it is memory, but I think memory is easier to say. Obviously. Okay, let's give that a shot. So obviously this would fix the bug altogether, like there would be no problems. Um, but what I would have to do is if we're in the idle state and our, uh, well, what the hell is this? Oh no, never mind. Typically reticle fish games only does partnerships really. What are you talking about? Okay, so yeah, this is a bug, obviously, uh, that we'll have to fix. Um, I don't think... Memento Mori is pronounced uh, on the Ori, but yeah. Whatever pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, so it's based on Memento Mori, like that was the original thing. Um, but there are too many games called Memento Mori, so we decided to just plug the two words together. Um, but there are themes of, like, memory... Um... Like, memory is a thing in the game, too, so it's like a... I don't know if... I, I keep calling it a double entendre, but I don't know if that's the right word. Double entendre, let me see. Word of phrase to two interpretations, yeah. So there's two interpretations to memory. I Like, memory and memory. So, there you, there you have it. From the developer himself. Oh man, seeing the Memory Ghost in Radical Fish Games' next title would be cool. They partner with uh, other indies to have characters from both companies featured in other games. I see Radical Fish Games. I've seen something similar happen in like... They do this in Terraria, like they did Terraria and... Um, what was the other game? Don't Starve. I think it's annoying that memory already exists as mem memory. But there's so many other characters from the game from other games including Zoe from League of Legends. I see. Um idea, level idea, you go through a level uh like normal but then you have to go through it again like the level is Fading, you're forgetting it. Oh, that's that's pretty cool too. Maybe like in the end, that'd be pretty cool. Like, ah, cool idea. Like memory, the actual card game, uh, where you memorize stuff. When you search for memory, you find memory card game. I see. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that. Like there, there's. It's probably best if I pronounce it memory rather than memory, because then, yeah, I'm gonna start saying memory more often. There's also like, you know, dude, I thought I removed, <laughs> like, this looks like it's like a hentai game or something. But I'm pretty sure I removed that from memory. There's a bunch of games called memory. Memory, maybe I should make a space. Memory. Mem memory. Hmm. I'd have to redo literally everything. Memory. Memory. It comes up right. Yeah, yeah. If you spell it correctly, it'll show up correctly. Um, but if, like, I say, hey, like, you know, I tell my friend, hey, my game's called Memory. Uh, go wishlist it or something, and then they search up memory, and they're like, oh, what the hell? You're making a hentai game? Memoria. Memoria! Memoria. 
Oh shit, it's already a game. That wouldn't have, that would actually would have been cool. I mean, their game is not out yet. We could like we could speedrun against them. <laughs> Claim the name for us. Oh wait, no, there's already a few games called Memoria. Honestly, Memoria Memoria sounds way better than Memory in my opinion. Yeah, literally the only reason hentai game dev your parents would be proud. Yeah. I mean, no shame in making NSFW games. Memoriam? How about like XX Memory XX? Memory, uh, Memoriam. That could work. Memoriam. <laughs> Memorias. 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 Also, memor memoras. Could be mem memoras. Memor. Because usually ending an I is like, I'm. I took a, <laughs> I took a Latin class in high school. I, I think I forgot everything though. Like us is usually like, a uh, singular male. I'm pretty sure. And I is like. I want to say I is plural male. I don't remember anymore. Yeah, like cacti, cactus. I is single. Uh, single male. Oh, sorry. Um, plural, plural male. Memoros, memoros. But it doesn't. It doesn't look as good. Memoros. Compared to memory. I don't know. Honestly, it's so trivial. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm sure mem memory is fine. It's not about the name. It's the. It's about the the game. Mem memoriam is a phrase used when someone has passed away. It fits the theme you're going for, huh? I'll have to. Tell the artist to add an A here. Actually, you know, I do have a full I do have a full alphabet in this in this style. Could add an A here, memoriam. Gotta make a poll. You know what I would do? I'd probably keep it, you know. I'd probably keep it as memory and then um you know, just make memoriam or sorry, uh yeah, memoriam as like a you know, part two, electric boogaloo. <laughs> Memoriam could be the new game plus. Ooh, the, the thing is like, how to have a new game plus though? There's like, Because usually new game pluses are just, you save your, like, there's no inventory or anything like that in my game, you know? I'm not sure what I could do to increase the difficulty of a precision platformer, besides, like, changing the level design. The whole game is fading. Maybe there's, like, a, yeah, maybe there's something that's required from the player. Like, maybe there's, like, a, originally with this game, I, I, I wish I had a, um, a timer, no, oh, sorry, like, a, Light, light was a mechanic. It'd be cool if light was a mechanic in this game, um, where like light is fading, or like you know you have to get to the checkpoint before the the light runs out and it's like it gets darker. Um, that's actually a mechanic in Saltoon's game. It's also a mechanic in um, if you've ever played Dead Cells, it's a thing in Dead Cells as well. Wow, you can't say NG plus A. I mean, I get, I get it. I see what they're, where they're coming from, but thankfully you can't say that. I 
All right, all right, Juho. That one I'm not allowing, because you know, I know you're trying to be edgy. Uh, you already said something pretty edgy in, in the stream, and I, 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 I wish I could have removed it, but I couldn't. For whatever reason. Oh, I literally don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm... I'm innocent. But you do you. Alright, I'll keep on doing me. You can have it so, uh, in the course of the game, you've acquired collectibles and hit all the stones in your next playthrough. Um, has a second path uh, and a second and oh that'd be pretty cool radical fish games is on twitch by the way <laughs> radical fish games is radical fish games a solo developer or is it like a company <laughs> twitch was well, radical fish games made is so probably a better question for me to ask. Oh, they made cro uh, cross current. Uh, what's it called? Uh, cross code, right, 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 right. You know, I still have, I still have it. I've, I haven't played it. I have it on my desktop. Dido Celeste, yes, that is exactly what my game is, Celeste, but Gido. Um, Twitch is what I meant to look. Eleven days ago. Hmm. I didn't mean to close the game. Okay. Uh, did we solve the problem with the uh, hitbox here? Um, so here's another problem. Wait. Wait. We'll have to solve this. Originally, what we do on a climb up, if you just press up. Wait, what the hell? I thought I fixed this. Maybe not. Oh. Yeah, it's supposed to automatically push you up. Let me just make sure it doesn't happen here. Okay, we'll have to fix that. Too many like minor bugs that we gotta fix. Um, auto scale still hasn't been fixed in some cases. Okay. Here, wait. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta, gotta go pee.
I'm gonna go back to watching um, Hellraiser's code, uh, Hellraiser's playthrough. Auto scale still hasn't, dude. I could have sworn I fixed this bug so many times, at least twice. Uh, it still seems to be an issue. Where is? Here we go. That 1% seen it as stupid slash offensive. I mean, there's no proof that I didn't know what it meant, but I guess I know it. Sorry for using it. That's all right. You know, between you and me, I know I know you know what it meant, but we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it uh, low key. Frustration like the spikes get you when they shouldn't sometimes. Let me see. He might be right about that. I don't know. It's just that it's kind of pixel perfect and not it's not pixel perfect, but most games are pretty lenient with their um with their spikes. And I feel like mine are already lenient, but maybe I should make Word. them more lenient. Like, maybe we could reduce it by one pixel, maybe. At most, it would be one pixel. But it's not like he wasn't able to get through, so... One pixel would literally be like a 20... It would literally make the game 25% less pixel perfect, you know what I mean? If you try to go fast as possible, at least for me. Um, yeah, I mean that is true, but also, like, I'm like, my target audience are is people that want to go fast, or like you know, the re replayability aspect of the game is from people who are going to speed run the game, right? Like if you you know if you just want to play the game once, um, you probably you know. Play it at your own pace and then call it quits afterwards. So I do have to, you know, quote unquote, like appease the speedrunners. Oh. Oh no. You do keep the uh, the stone though if you miss it. Like going back is not a problem. Uh, 
Um, another issue that I have with my game, and I think this is an issue that most platformers have, is that like there's so much variation in like what the player mm -hmm. could press at a certain point. Like right here, like you could either come. How do I explain this? Like you could either come from the top and like let yourself fall towards this and maybe you you dash but then you're dashing like at this end of the spring versus this end of the spring um in this particular case it doesn't really matter because you're still you're just gonna have to go up but in some scenarios it makes it makes a difference um that's why in many cases you actually see me updating the player's uh global position like you actually on this one um wait i, I forgot which one which direction it is um, specifically for the vertical springs, I reset your position on the Y axis. And then for this one, I reset the player's position, I think both on the X and Y. So you get like, you know, consistent, consistent playthroughs every time. This part actually might be a little bugged. Or not bugged, but um Oh no, never mind, he got it. For a second I, I thought it might have been broken. Uh, I think I might want to move this spring to the uh this portal to the right one pixel though. Or one tile. Yeah, there we go. That's that's usually what I do. And that's it. 35 minutes on his first playthrough. Um, he does it again. Let me see. I'm curious what he got here. Fifteen minutes, and then do you sign them? Thirty-five all collectibles. I see. You know. Oh wait, I didn't even notice. Thirty-five all collectibles. Let me see. You know, there should also be um, a setting for all of the memory stones too. I don't have one for that yet. But like it, it, it is recorded in the. Uh, I mean, with that kind of improvement on my third go through. Yeah, literally half the time. Wait, let me see. I think you got all the memory stones too. There was originally a uh, room for that, but um, once I started making the second chapters, oh yeah, all collectibles and then all of okay. the memory stones, I'm sure. Um, and then your final playthrough here. We'll, we'll actually watch the entire final playthrough of this stream. I want to see what your like what changed since then this is it right I don't, I don't think you played it let me see yeah okay this is at four let me just make sure oh i think you started over okay Hey, how about start split? Hey, how about start split? Hellbot, nice. How does that work exactly? I've never actually worked on what it, what is it called the the time splits. I'll have to uh, look into that. I've never actually looked into like how they're done, you know. Oh, there's another bug I just noticed. Uh, if you die in the climb state, you fall through platforms. 
we need to make sure we're re resetting the player's hitbox at that point. Or the resetting their, um, yeah, yeah, resetting their hitbox and everything. Also, I don't think, if you died right here, I think you would restart completely from the beginning. I'm pretty sure. Uh, at that point right there. But yeah, this playthrough is way, way quicker. If you are interested, there's another speedrunning strat right here. Whoops. Where you can use fudging to your to your advantage. Instead of hitting this spring, instead of hitting this green thing, you can dash upwards into this um into this corner and yeah, it'll push you it'll push you out into the spring. So you can actually just go like dash upwards, hit the spring, then as you're falling, dash upwards again. Like you can basically ignore uh, having to hit these uh, like all together. Fun fact. Um, it's technically, I, I don't know if I would call it a bug, uh, but it is a feature that's going to stay in the game. Um, and I think I'll just let people do that. Completely new to me, um, middle part of the stream. Yeah, I was looking at that, then programmed it to my chat bot, I see. Yeah, I'll have to look into that, like, um, it's probably good for, like, I, I've never, like, dealt with live split or, like, similar software, and it probably would be nice to have, uh, I don't know, does it also have, like, some sort of, like, anti-cheat? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Oh shit. What, what what the hell was that? Did Looked like you Oh. What the hell? Oh. It's like it looked like you teleported what? through but then you bounced out. What? Actually, wait, let me see this one more time. I can't tell if you were in... Oh my god. It's so... Like, can I run this at a slower speed? happened four thirteen twenty three okay so good I'm gonna make it even lower oh what the hell So, this might be an issue with the 
Yeah, yeah that, that should have registered as a as a teleport. Both visually... Obviously, technically it wasn't, but it should have been. Uh, let me look at portal real quick. Or, this is a state in the player, so you went from the... Da it could have been that you went from the neutral state to the dash state. Let me see. Um, state logic... Here, let me write this down too. Neutral. Maybe a race condition if we dash too quickly out of a bounce. Um, actually, you might be onto something. Um, I've had similar problems actually. I, I might actually, rem I might remove the player's ability to dash when they're in the bounce state. Um, or maybe after a few seconds, like you can't just dash immediately. Um, but we'll see. Um, I do want to make sure that you're not, where is it? Where's our neutral state? Teleport player. If teleport player, teleport. Okay. Um, so we're going into the neutral and we could enter the bounce state. Um, the thing is, we are returning. I mean, honestly, everything should be returning a state. It could be. Let me see. So here's the issue. Um, sometimes we're not returning these states. So, like, let's say teleport player. This is not the bug, but like for instance, if we had teleport player is equal to true and we changed our player to the teleport state um, and we didn't return, the player would still enter the bounce state. Um, so they would both teleport and bounce, but um, this is the last thing that runs, so it would take uh, bounce would uh, take priority in the physics process. Um, right now, like this is not the bug, but that's something that is fairly common because we yeah we need to rewrite some of this stuff. We we need to re rewrite all of this to be honest. Um, but yeah, I still don't know what could have caused this. We can try m mimicking it, but it, I don't know. Let's see. I've never seen that happen before, too. It could be an engine problem, for all I know. Um, level manager. Let's go into world demo. Yo, how's it going, Octo? Did I reflip my camera? No. It's still flipped. I'm pretty sure. Right? This is my right hand and my right. Yeah. It's consistent. Okay. Where is it? World demo. this room right here let's find out what the hell is going on here I don't even know how I'm gonna test this out though doing good you um honestly it's pretty t chill pretty chill stream um i'm also not entirely sure how i'm gonna test out this bug see so you bounced out hmm let me see this one more time. But I agreed with Half Moon. Spam songs to make it not chill. 
It's at 23. Okay, we'll just... Oh no. Okay, it's this one right here. Okay, you're in the dash state. What the fuck? What, what just happened? Was it because I spammed the spacebar? Yeah. All right, let's just click on the four thirteen twenty three. I think was the time. Let's just go to sixteen. Really does look like his profile picture. I think he has a little bit more hair on his head though. So, the only reason why this would happen is if you just barely missed. So I think, yeah, it's either a hitbox issue. Yeah, and most like, I think it I think it has to be a hitbox issue. Because I, I remember solving a lot of issues with the portal. Um, and the only thing that would, uh, you know, be a problem is the fact that, let's see. If I show my hitbox right here. This is the hitbox for the portal. Are you reaching... You would have to reach at least this pixel right here, the darkest pixel, uh, which I can't really tell if you are because the Z index of the player is lower than the Z index of our portal. So I can't even tell, uh, but it, it looks like it is like this should have worked. A Kratos costume. Yeah, I was going to say you, you do look like Kratos in this. So it's a sub pixel or pixel perfect glitch. Yeah, I think I think. Honestly, I could increase the hitbox of this, but this I think technically would be game breaking or in the current version of the game, it'll be game breaking. Um because we have another hitbox right here. Um, this is the this is where your, your character gets spawned. So if you make it any larger, I believe we're gonna be. Uh, we'll just have to fix this. I'll make the hitbox larger. Honestly, it's probably a good idea. Um, let me see. One, two. Yeah, like if I make it like this, or even like this. Hmm. What was the original of this? All right. If I just make it like this, I think it'll be. F I think it'll make us bug out. Specifically for the um, for the vertical portals. See, so yeah, it's not a problem here, but if we were to run this, uh, you know, let's look at world demo over here on the vertical ones. Like, let's see. Maybe it isn't. If it isn't game breaking, then all is all is well. Otherwise, we have some work cut out for us for tomorrow. Oh, it's fine. Wait, wait. wait let me just make sure. Bingo, Bob. Bingo seemed to me like a middle-aged man in his 30 to 40s. I checked out his stream and he sounded way younger, like 15 to 16. Bingo Bob. Bingo Bob, that... Bingo Bob, is that the person that raided me at some point? 
All right, let's just make sure these are fine. Oh, I need to check the downwards portals. This might be bugged right here. Oh, it's... Dude, nice. All right, all good. Bug is fixed. Quote unquote bug. It's just a hitbox issue. That dude that rated, yes, yes, I remember now. All right, uh, we don't need to watch me play. Let's go back to Hellraiser. And probably run this back at one speed. What? Oh no. Now you can't spam your uh your channel anymore. So sad. Yeah, I mentioned this earlier, but this is the hardest room and it also needs some updating. The level design is um, subpar IMO. Oh, look at that. You didn't even need the... Much better. I wonder if you could do that, hey, like... Hey, Hellbot. Split, split. Hey, Hellbot. Split, split. I wonder if you can do that consistently. I'm sure you can't. Like, if you could do it once, you could probably do it more often. Um, the thing is, like, those green orbs, they don't reset your position in any way. There's a there's a stop frame. That's about it. Um, so, yeah, you would just have to make sure that you're dashing at the exact right moment. Because if you let gravity pick up in any way, you might not be able to do that. I'm not sure, though. Um, I haven't tested it out. I usually hit the spring first. Ah. Uh, I, I mentioned this too. I don't know if Hellraiser was here when I mentioned this, but um, yeah, like I think I. Oh my gosh. I think you assumed, or originally when you first assumed. When you first played this uh, mechanic, you assumed that the, uh, and I think it, it's a fair assumption, that like you would go in the in this direction. Um, like, what am I trying to say? Like, the threshold of going upwards is like right here or like right past this point. Um, but I think you thought it was like right below this point, which is like typically how games handle it. So like, you know, uh, yeah. Like, instead of it being, like, a, a thing that keeps your momentum going, um, it's it's a little different. Um, so I, I might change that, actually. Because I feel like uh, most people would, would approach it the same way you did. Uh, you, you got used to it really quick, but... Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Pay to win streamer. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to use the bug. The bug that no longer exists. Yeah, oh, this part. Come on. Yeah, this part is very tight. I wonder if I should keep it. I mean, he got it on the, he got it on the second try. 
<clears throat> hey, Hellbot. Split, split. No, it's my least favorite part of the game. Uh, I think I'm gonna add a dash. A dash to this mechanic. Just to speed things up. What? Ooh. Oh! That's another bug. I think it's, uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this bug is, you can't go from the twilight state back into the twilight state, so we have to fix that. Uh, because there's a timer here, and there's an extended, uh, there's a timer that runs after you exit this state that says, okay, now you can do something else, or like now you can, what am, what am I trying to say? You know, there's a timer that says, all right, now you're going to exit the uh, the twilight state. Um, and that messes with the game. And you're also forced into one direction. Okay, we're, let me write this down. I think what we might do is instead of keeping the, the twilight state, we're going to do a force dash state out of this. And then you only can go in one direction. So either upright or... Um, yeah, upright or up. Yeah, how's it going, a little bit? Currently just watching Hellraiser playtest the game. Um, can't or bug going from twilight state back to twilight state. Another quick fix would literally just be to just reduce the size of this like either make this shorter we can make this one shorter and this one taller i'm sorry this one shorter and keep this one the same way it is that'd be like a really really quick fix do i know streamer yeah octo is like octo is an og Ooh. Oh no. L octobits. True. Gotta get this T-pad thing fixed. Wait, he said, let me see. The thing is, okay. Gotta get this T-pad thing fixed. See, see, see that wasn't. I'm pretty Gotta sure that was an upright dash. Fixed. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Sucks on the 360, I see. Um, yeah. I think in this version, uh, there were, like, I have issues, I have had issues with my D-pad as well. Um, but the solution... I don't know. The solution seemed to fix itself after I increased the dead zone of the analog stick. Um, but yeah, if you prefer prefer the the stick, I would just say there's an option in the settings to reduce the um, reduce the dead zone. By default, I set it to 0 0.7, which is like you know, 20% uh, requires 20% more input um, than the uh, 
than the default. Oh wait, other way. But yeah, I think too much precision can also hurt you. It really depends. Show me how to do that after the run. All right, sounds good. But yeah, like I said, it's a double-edged sword because, uh, you know, then you, you you know you flick your your thumb a little bit to the left, and all of a sudden you're going in the opposite direction, or not the opposite, but like you know, a right dash becomes an upright dash, or a down dash becomes becomes a downright dash. And I think for this next demo, I no one's mentioned it, but there are some times when like the game um, could be like there are some freezes at least on my computer. Uh, what tea? Black tea. Uh, I'm not sure if it's it might be English tea. Um, yeah, English tea with um with milk. Are the particles on the twilight yours or from somewhere else? They are mine. You mean like, did I make them or did I find them like as an asset? Milk. Yes. <sighs> Some good old UH, UHT. Tea. I mean UHT milk. It's like milk that's been um, overcooked. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the frustration. The uh... yeah. Okay, so this is another. This is another. Um, issue that I've been having with this state is that your hitbox changes on entering the twilight. So like, yeah, like right there, you don't die while you're in that state, but when you exit that state, you will die because you're too low. Um, we'll have to, I'll have to think of a better approach for this. Honestly, maybe I should keep the hitbox the same. Like, don't change the hitbox and just make this this state that you're in larger. Dude, your choice. Of, it's not my choice of milk. It's the milk I have. It's most definitely not my milk of choice. My milk of choice is lactate. Lactate is like literally the best milk ever. It's so like it's 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 milk without the lact. I think it's milk without the lactose. I think that's what it is, and it's so good. It's just a milkier milk. Like it just tastes more like milk. dairy free it I don't think it's dairy free it's just like you have to try it trust me anyone who's tried lactate will agree do you trust me if you haven't tried it don't speak there's also a small bug right there the Godot icon is still there This part I think is relatively easy. It's just uh, to just yeah. This mechanic just needs to be updated. I think adding a dash definitely will will fix it. Will not be silenced. It's it's literally more expensive. It's like double the price of regular milk. Hence why I don't drink it often. This actually, this UHT milk is my my least favorite milk, but it's Google. like. Hey, how about split split? 
I think maybe it's my least favorite because it has like it's only like one percent fat, so it just doesn't taste like. Hey, it. Hellbot, split, split. Almond milk is my new favorite. Oh, 13 minutes, 36 seconds. That's pretty good for your third run. Is that your third? Oh, your third full run. Is it more watery? Yeah. So UHT fourth. I see. I think it's your fourth run, but it's not your. Uh, wait. Because you restarted here, didn't you? Or are you accounting for that? But yeah, that's pretty. Either way, that's still pretty good. 13 minutes after your fourth run. Still haven't tried the new demo. But yeah, lactate. I think it's a brand. Yeah, it's a brand. Lactate milk. Brought to you by lactate. Yeah, lactose, lactose free milk. But goddamn, it's so good. I don't like. I don't care if it has lactose or not. It just tastes good. Oh, the first run was all collectibles, then the three any runs. I see, I see, okay. But yeah, thank you again for playing. You found you found some decent bugs that like I didn't even know existed. Um I'll give you I'll give you another shout out, Hellraiser. Thank you again. I, I also saw you playing um Sekiros's game. Put me to shame when I played it. Compared to when I played it. I ain't drinking fake milk. It's literally just milk without lactate. I don't It still has like it still has the fat. It still has the um the protein and everything. Appreciate you putting it out for uh, for testing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I have to put this game out for testing. Um, otherwise, um, I would be lost. Like, feedback is like super important. Maybe maybe not even feed. Like, feedback is good, but also just watching how people play is really important for me. Lactose is the main uh, carbohydrate in milk produced by cows and animals. Human breast milk also contains lactose. It is uh not present in vegetables <laughs> glucose and yeah lactose proof that it's fake milk how is it fake milk lacto what is lactate milk it's 100 percent real milk there you go there you have it it was a good run yeah it was a good run um, I'm trying to think. Someone else play tested the game. Um, I think they posted it on the Discord. Okay. <laughs> Preset analog. So I think this could fix the issue that Hellraiser was happen having. Um, auto scale. Let me let me see what's going on with the auto scale. I don't think we're, we're gonna fix too many bugs today. I think today was like, you know, we took our break yesterday. Um, today is like <laughs> our first day back after a month long, or no, after our first ever break. And like, I feel like I forgot how to be a streamer after taking a day break. But we're getting, we're getting used to it again. Okay. So there should be an auto climb, which, yeah, what the hell? This is what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to climb over, like scale over the wall. Um, but if I'm just pressing up, this is what happens. Uh, wait, actually. We do... Ah, oh, wait a second. You know what's... what's in, like, climb button... 
You know, actually, this is this might not be too bad. We could also lock the player. Maybe not have an auto climb. Basically, if the player doesn't press up and upright, or if the player doesn't press upright, maybe we don't for like maybe we lock them right here. That's an option. And then if they press upright, then they climb all the way up. The thing that's weird is that I thought I solved this problem a long time ago, and we just kept the auto climb. Um, it doesn't seem like that's the case though. Auto, no, not auto climb. Auto scale. Well, lurk and stuffs, uh, of course. And uh, you know, lurk away. I appreciate the lurk actually. Um, so this is from the climb state, climb movement. Um, I wonder. Here, wait, wait, wait. Let's do one thing real. Real, real quick um in no this was from our slide all right let's look at state logic real quick sorry i'm like bouncing all over the place i don't know what the problem is at the moment from the rope swing where the hell is it okay climb movement um, if in spring, if raycast dot not, not next to wall, we enter the uh, fall state. From the fall state, um, I think this is where we put it in the fall state. But technically, it might be the jump state. So let's go into uh, enter state and fall. Oh, sorry, not fall. Um, no, no, yeah, yeah, fall. Um, if our previous state was the slide state, or no, no, sorry, if our previous state was the climb state, if input controller dot move up input, and not move right input or move left input, if last wall it's equal, huh? If neither one of these inputs, last wall on and global positions get updated, this should work. Uh, let's see, floor slide. We don't, we don't run any of this anymore. Um, if our previous state was slide, oh, wait, what? Slide, oh. So we updated this, we set our jumps left to zero, and then we have all of these LF statements. So I think what we'll do is, honestly, I think this will solve it. Let's see. There we go. Um, and we do need to make sure that this doesn't happen on spikes, which I don't think it does. Um, and that might have been the problem that Hellraiser was having. Because we updated that bug, and now we, we're going into this. Um, let's see. So we have our player here. Let's go into level manager again. Level manager. Let's look at... Hmm. Okay. So yeah, it still happens here. I think this is the bug that Hellraiser had. Was that he was going up, and then um, the auto climb happens, which is. Let's see. If our previous state was... Oh, yeah, we have nothing checking for this. Basically, we want to make sure that we're not... I don't know if we should allow the player to climb up. We have this working for the fudging state, but we don't have this for the auto-climb state. That's the problem. We could also just leave it the way it is. Maybe go back to keeping this an elif. Hmm. Hmm... Let me see what our raycast is doing. Basically, um, if this raycast is hitting a 
a spike, maybe we don't have the auto climb. But it seems like such a weird case scenario. Like I, I think either we we keep it or we don't keep it. It shouldn't be oh for this case we keep it, for this case we don't keep it. Um, so I might just remove this altogether because if you're pressing right, if you have the auto climb on and you're pressing right and up, you would automatically climb upwards anyway. And this is sort of just a hacked, you know, um, more more so a quality of life thing than anything else. Uh, we could keep the uh, wait actually. We could keep no motion. Yeah, actually, we don't have anything that pushes the player up. I wonder. Let me see. Let me keep this as an elif real quick. Run it one more time. Um. Well, just because I woke up and my hand was showing a message, have a good stream. I'll see ya. You, not sure what you mean by that, Half Moon, but enjoy. Uh, I think I'll see you. I think that was your way of saying bye. So we need to fix this, but yeah, I'm gonna fix this tomorrow. I can't be bothered with this right now. Let me see this area. Yeah, we'll fix this tomorrow. What other bugs do we have? We have um, preset auto scale hasn't been fixed in some cases. This is not true. It's that we created more bugs for ourselves. Neutral state not registering on teleport. We fix this. Um, and okay, so instead of this auto scale, we need to see. We need to. Uh, what I think I'll say is fix um, climbing upwards when no extra input and going from the twilight state back into the twilight state is definitely another bug and preset this is more of a like a quality of life thing or like it's just so inconsistent like there's no one size fits all solution for every computer or for like every controller um so we'll have to, you know, do some more investigation there. Um, I do got to take a dump, so I might as well just end the stream here. Whoops, not itch. I meant Twitch. Happy Friday. How's it going, Captain? Here, I, you know, I really want to raid Cricket. Let me Still see. Still messing around with those numbers. Perfect timing. Enjoy your jump. Practical. How's it going? Maybe. Maybe, Pooh. I don't know if I set that up for all the commands. Pooh. Pooh, I don't know if I set that up for all the commands. <laughs> it might not take yours. Let's see. Not anytime soon. No, no, Pooh. Not anytime soon. Okay, so the ball's coming up to, up to me. All right, we're going to raid him. Every time, or the past three times I've raided him, I, I think he's ended his stream. Um, so let's do it. I'll see you, Captain. Uh, see you, Half Moon. See you a little bit. See you, Octo. Uh, Hellraiser, thank you again for playing. Um, and everyone else. Peace. Maui, I'll see you, man. Have a good day. Have a good day. Enjoy cricket stream. Um, Cause set will absolutely return the ball over to the opposing team. Bump might not. Um, practical with a raid. My God, we got a full house. Thank you for the raid, practical. 